we have from the UK? Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Yeah, Shaykh, I want to ask you, what should we do if you are if you are being pressured to shake hands with the opposite gender? If you are not in such a situation, but I feel it may happen in the future. If you pressured by opposite gender to do what? Yeah, to shake hands. Uh, okay. Any more question? Uh, no, just this one. Okay. So Shihab is saying that I fear that I may be put in a situation where the opposite gender would force me to shake hands. And this happens in Kafir countries where they don't have any restrictions. So you would go to a meeting, a woman would extend her hand for you to shake hands with. So he's saying that, I, this is haram in my religion. I know that in the authentic hadith, the Prophet said, والسلام, it is best for you to be stabbed in your head with a needle of steel rather than to touch a woman who is not permissible for you. So now he says, I'm forced. Akhi, you're not forced unless there is gunpoint. When you're at gunpoint, this is forced. So you have to have the pride in your religion. You have to be proud of it. When you are committed to it, you simply tell people, I can't shake hands. Or when you see a woman coming and you know that she's going to reach out and try to shake hands with you, you just do this and greet her from a distance and take a step or two back. But in worst case scenarios, you simply say, I'm, I'm, I apologize, I'm sorry, but my religion prevents me from shaking uh, uh, hands with women out of respect or, or whatever. Some people may even joke about this, but this is not uh, uh, recommended. You have to hold your grounds and say that this is not permissible and reverse it. Imagine if your wife or your mother was forced by a man who wanted to shake hands with them. Would you allow her to do that? And what about if you were in Spain, for example, they don't shake hands, they kiss on the cheek. So then what? You say, I was forced. Wow. No, you have to hold your grounds. You have to be proud of your religion and not feel ashamed of it because this is the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal.